Hi everybody, uh, my name is Kelly Moore. I'm one of the co-founders of Beanerworks. No, it is not Beanerworks. It is uh, it's probably the first thing I need to explain. It's loosely based on carabiners. So if anybody's seen these on your keychains, rock climbing, uh, rigging gear, they're used in all kinds of facets. Our inspiration is based on carabiners. So we are a two guys. That is my co-partner, Matt Abel. We are two guys that have spent, basically since we were five years old in the woods, uh, climbing, backpacking, hunting, fishing. And we have done a lot of work in the Forest Service where we have uh, access to being in the woods. And we know what kind of gear works and what kind of gear doesn't. Uh, specifically, I break a lot of stuff. So part of this is actually the fact that I I have broken a lot of things, and I like to make them fit, and I like to make them work. Our first piece. This is the lighter beaner. What you have here is, well, as I push buttons, what you have here is a sleeve in there, and you have a spot to open your actual beverage, your ale eight, your craft beer, and we have multiple sizes. This is our prototype. That is actually 3D printed in plastic with a nickel coating. So it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, you've got a lot of opportunity there. We have the big, big lighter, the little big lighter. So you have two immediate sizes. You have color schemes. The notice the blue for a university that may or may not be here. Imagine putting a UK logo on that side of that. There are places everywhere. Uh, Tennessee, I know everybody's a big fan of Tennessee here. So you have uh, breweries. You have opportunities in multiple locations and multiple facets that we can take this. The idea in the end is it hanging in every gas station in the country right next to the lighters. But there are multiple price points, there are multiple opportunities, depending on the way we would like to go forward with this. That's one. Our second one is the self-rescue. What this is, this came up for us basically as an inspiration that we felt like uh, we needed something to be able to get out of our vehicle. I actually ran into a article where someone actually had a uh, pair of scissors in their car and they were able to get somebody out. Well, uh, I don't have a pair of scissors in my car. And when we originally looked at this, we started thinking about the way first responders come up upon an accident. And we felt this was a good opportunity for us. Again, we have another prototype. The only thing that doesn't work here is our spring but that is just because we got them last week, but in the end, these are all functional. It has a grip handle that you can see on the side, right there, and you have your seatbelt cutter right in there. So the idea is, as you come up upon an accident, first responder can take it off their gear, pop the window, cut the seatbelt, put it back on, and do what they need to do. It has much greater applications because commercially there is not anything close to this. There's a couple of those little plastic hammers. Uh, there's a little pin that you can put on your keychain. This one provides multiple sizes, multiple opportunities, and we see the opportunity here to get this out to everyone because we are able to manufacture these in a pretty reasonable manner. Our designs, why do they make sense? We're additive. Carabiners are pretty simple, but we're trying to add things to them. We're actually, we're actually trying to make them multifunctional. Functional, they work. They're built to last, they're organic, they're comfortable, they're easy to feel, and both of these are patent pending. Our cost analysis, real quickly, uh, we have lots of carabiners. This one's 12 bucks. 
This one is actually weight rated for climbing. We have... Uh, thank you very much. Y'all have a good one.